When America's favorite pastime returns this spring, some Reds fans will be sitting in new seats. Comes at a cost to taxpayers, but as Local 12 Sydney Benter shows us, not nearly as much as it could have. This time of year, ballpark seats aren't full. But right now, there are boxes full of seats at Great American Ballpark. All 38,000 are being replaced. They're just over 10 years old, but Hamilton County officials say they started to crack and break years ago. No real good reason was given, although we cut the seats open and found that the seats were thin in some areas. The walls of the seats were thin, so they obviously did not meet specifications. With the warranty already expired, the county was looking at a $5 million price tag to replace the seats that inspectors deemed systematically flawed. When I got word of $5 million, I had to get innovative and come up with ways to do it cheaper. So I started working the web. After some research, the county got into the seat business and eliminated the middleman. The new cost, $1.3 million. The county hired a Westchester company to make molds for the seats and a Bowling Green, Ohio plastics company to then fill the molds. You can see the difference in quality. A cheaper and more durable solution. The county even found a way to cut costs by hiring workers from the reentry program. Many of them have spent time in jail. Others are simply looking for work. Hopefully I can get on with Hamilton County. I'm showing them I'm a good worker. I'm here every day, dependable, one of the best workers here. Me and him are maybe the older guys here, so we try to mentor the younger guys and let them know that this is a better way than out there on the streets. If you're wondering what's going to happen to the tens of thousands of old broken chairs, most of them are being recycled. Others are going on the auction block where you can bid on them and have your own stadium seating at home. At Great American Ballpark, Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. Well, the county promises that the stadium will have all new seats before the All-Star Game. The plastic backs and buckets of the old chairs are up for grabs, as Cindy said, or Sydney rather said. If you're interested in buying them, we have a link at local12.com. And you remember?